Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this new video uh, on Space ID. I wanted to do an update. I covered this um, two days ago, obviously, when it was very, very bullish on Wednesday. Uh, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on it right now as well, because it has stayed bullish. <laughs> all right. And um, back when we were looking at ID uh, two days ago, I believe, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I, I still was quite bullish on it as well. I actually still had a position open um on on wednesday evening but unfortunately i closed that i mean it's um was a bad choice but i but i got some nice funding fees i mean the the funding funding rate back then on, on id as most of you know or at least i hope most of you know was very good so you got like you got like a lot of you got like two percent or something even more on your position value every eight hours uh, so that was great got like two two funding funding routes off of that and then it closed uh, at around the entry, uh, unfortunately. But since then, it continued rallying. And just in general, and that's also what we talked about two days ago, is that Space ID is obviously manipulated, all right? And it's absolutely key that you know that, all right? Because if you if you, if you you don't accept that it's manipulated, you're going to get burned. And just in general, what I, what I usually say about manipulation is that when a crypto is manipulated, we're trading in a zero-sum market, all right? So that means that all the money that's won by people is lost by other people and manipulators typically win money so if you divide the markets and if you divide trading in the manipulators and retail you and i if manipulators make money which they usually do retail loses money all right so uh, we're all part of retail if you're a newer trader or something like that i would just stay away from this all right but those are my thoughts that's an alert i have to check out in a moment um, but that's just just what I wanted to tell you out of out of experience. But at this moment, I mean, I must say that there's no there's there's no confirmation, there's no bearish confirmation for Space ID yet. And it actually, at this moment, I would say it looks most likely that we'll just continue to be bullish. Um, our main price, our main resistance level right now is sixty five cents. We tend to respect the psychological levels quite well. Uh, so right now, you can see fifty five cents was also respected. Uh, the level around fifty cents was also respected. So now the big question in my eyes is, well, all right, we're getting a lot of liquidations here, especially a lot of short liquidations. And that's what I'm telling you. I mean, people like retail sees this price and thinks, well, this has to fall, which is true, but it can still go up much more before falling. And then you get liquidations like the, oh, uh, excuse me, liquidations like these. RSI is still very high. Uh, so I do think some sort of a crash is coming, um, but the open interest is still fine. All right. So this, uh, the, the main thing you need to see falling, the main, ma main thing you need to see is some sort of a big bearish breakout. All right. So at this moment, open interest is still fine and the price is still on top of 60 cents. Now, if for some reason, and I do think that's something you, you have to watch, if for some reason ID now gets a bearish breakout so that it breaks down below 60 cents and then does not break above that instantly after. So that's a, that's a confirmed bearish breakout. And the open interest also starts to fall which you can, by the way, also follow on Leviatus. Maybe that's even better for you. That's L-A-E-V-I-T-A-S, Leviatus.ch. Um, if that starts falling together with a bearish breakout, well, all right, then there's actually a good chance we'll crash down all the way to 50 cents. And ultimately, ID will, will crash down lower, all right, down to like 4, 46, 42 cents, etc. So is this a possibility? Yes, but at this moment, there's no confirmation for that. At this moment, we're still holding our support, 60 cents, and there's also a, uh, so, some strong support at 57 cents, and the open interest is still high. So at this moment, I would still say bullish confirmation is most likely. Will I enter a position on ID though? No. But the next price target in my eyes is probably between like 71 and 75 cents. So this is more likely. But like I said, the, the risk of some sort of a crash at this moment for me is too high to open new positions. So do with that whatever you want. But those are my thoughts. Uh, if you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. There you can also find more on my premium and signal group. That's up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.